You should be wearing a mask. So Robert is going to paint the hood of the Dometic air conditioner with paint that we purchased from the dealership, right? Yeah, this is uh, Scratches Happen. Just search for Scratches Happen and then it'll you can mat, color match it with your van. So we bought the uh, red burgundy. So this just is held on with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 20, size 25 torque bit screws. So you just pop those off and then this comes right off. And then I've just lightly gone over it with a medium sanding pad. Just a 3M medium, just to take some of the shine out of it. And then I have um, primer, uh, paint color, and then clear coat. And are you gonna keep the Dometic sign on there? I don't think so, I think it's gonna cover it. Okay. So you don't have to may, mask it. It may shine through, but I, I don't plan on masking it. So now I'm just taping up the bent grids. I figured I'd do this now before I get all the solar panels up there because it would be a lot harder to access those screws once that's up there. Dometic has a little graphic in their instructions that show that this can be painted, so that's what gave me the idea for it. Plus my wife didn't like uh, a big white thing on top of a beautiful red van. So. Of course if you have a white van then you're already good to go. Okay, then you let that dry 30 minutes between coats, put another coat on. I think you'll probably get two coats out of this can. Okay, so this is uh, dried up a little bit and so I basically I came back in with my sponge and just used real light pressure, and I mean barely even touching it, and just kind of let the sponge uh, contact the surface and just kind of move it around but no no real pressure just to knock off some high points like some of the spot was feeling a little rough to the touch like right here is a little rough so just real real light come in there clean that off get it smooth and then you want to wait an hour from when you finished your last coat to when you put your paint on and not in direct sunlight either. They also recommend a temperature between 65 and 75, I think it is. But um, we're in the shade here, it's not too bad. I think we're a little warmer, but that's okay. That feels pretty good. A little rough there. I'm basically just using the weight of the sandpaper itself, or the sand block. Okay. Okay, so it's been an hour and I just sprayed on my first color coat. So it looks a little splotchy, but I think after the second coat that'll clear up. Then after this, uh, you wait an hour for it to dry again and then you put on your clear coat. Okay, so that's the end of it. I um, took the tape off. It's pretty good. Um, so one can of paint, primer, and clear coat. I was able to get two coats of primer, two coats of paint, and three coats of clear coat. Not bad. So here's the painted air conditioner on top. You can see I've got a few other things going on at the same time. Sorry for the delay, but it's been brutally hot. 
it's hard to get up here and work because you start sweating like a pig in about five minutes but uh, this one's up and coming a sliding rack for a solar panel so I'm gonna have one here one there and then this is gonna slide out and expose both of them at the same time so that'll allow me to get two huge 350 watt solar panels up here I still have to mount those um, so it's using uh, 8020 and these linear bearings. Uh, one thing I got to figure out is I want to put a clamp around this so that when it's traveling, it keeps it from stressing these bearings because I don't want it to fly off. And also, I want it to be able to keep it inside. My original plan was to have a linear actuator that would push it out. But the issue that I'm having right now is where to mount that. So I have that lower rod right there for the other side of the panel. And then this here would have to attach, or that, that side over there would have to attach to something that would push it out. But it's, it's too short to get an actuator that fully extends past it. So right now I think I'm gonna keep it manual it shouldn't be too much of an issue, just a little step ladder, and it pulls out pretty easy. The panel's not that heavy, it's about 40 pounds. Yeah, so that's it for that. Also on the inside of the van, I've got my bed frame up. These are all videos that are up and coming, but it's just kind of a preview of what's been happening. Uh, I haven't been able to post because I don't really have anything complete other than the painting. Um, so there's my water tank. My electrical is going to go over here. Um, I still need to attach the bed frame itself to the van wall. Right now it's just kind of standing static. Uh, these are my slides for the um, slide out tray that the bikes will sit on. So I had to get the slides first. So I was waiting on those, mount or put them on the floor to see how tall my drawer is going to be, and then I can. I made my bed uh, that height, and I'll probably put some plywood in between to keep the mattress from falling through. I uh, started doing a little bit of electrical running, a little bit of the ceiling. So a lot of things happening, but nothing complete. Uh, I thought I'd just give you an update on that.